How is the Wolf Pack doing today? Today we're bringing over my favorite series from Madden. Let's get started. Welcome to the very first Flipathon, a new series on the channel. In this episode, we will be flipping and making as many stubs as possible in one hour. Today we'll be starting off with 325,000 stubs and we'll be able to use all of it. In future videos, we'll change the rules where in one video I'll only be able to use like 15k stubs. In the next video, I may only be able to flip silvers and you might also see a flip and play type of video. The channel OGs may remember snipe offs against ABJ. Well, this is, will be very similar to that, only this time I'm just sniping against the clock or flipping against the clock. Much like we did in Madden, I will be using the profits at the end of the video to do a pack opening. Easy come, easy go. Of course, I can't tell you how many packs we're opening because we haven't flipped the cards yet. But like I said, we will use 100% of the profits to do a pack opening. I don't recommend if you flip cards for an hour that you go ahead and buy all those packs. I by no means recommend that. It's just a fun way to enjoy our earnings. And I did this for you, for you to begin with, so why not have some fun with it at the end? No big deal. I know in the long run though, ripping packs is not advisable. Per the usual, at the end of this flip-a-thon, there will be some bonus material, so be sure to stay until the end of the video where we'll talk about some little nuggets that will help you guys out in MLB The Show. Also, one side thing, I will be going hiking with my girlfriend and sister next week. Wish me luck. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! But I do have both this video and an episode of Slides and Climbers queued up for you guys to keep you guys busy. Again, you guys have been amazing. We have grown like a weed, honestly. The channel has received a lot of love. I hope that continues. And I wanna do my part by bringing you great quality content as we continue to grow together. That brings me to my goal. For this video, I'm gonna try for 50 likes on the video. And also, I would love to get 500 subscribers by the end of May. We have some time to do this. And we've definitely been growing, but 500 would be an amazing milestone. And I didn't think we'd get there that fast, but I think the way things have been going, I think we can do that. So be sure to ring that bell. Once again, it really helps out the channel. As you can see in the background, we are flipping the tops now players. We have a stopwatch going in the background to make sure I don't cheat. Again, one hour is all that I'm allowed to flip. At the end of the one hour, I am allowed to just sell the cards that I have, but otherwise I need to cancel all my buy orders. Personally, I would recommend the Tops Now players for new flippers looking to get into the flipping scene. One, there's not very many of them, so it's easy to remember their prices. Two, they move very quickly, which is great when making a profit. And three, they're generally pretty profitable they have good healthy margins so that's three reasons why i would recommend flipping the tops now players And as the flip-a-thon continues, be sure to leave down in the comment section below different flipping challenges that you would like to see on the channel. I mentioned earlier, you know, ones where I can only flip with like 15K stubs, ones where I can only flip gold players, one that I have to flip, make stubs, and then build a team with those stubs and then play a game of ranked seasons. Those are all viable, good options, but also get creative with it and let me know down below what you guys think, what you guys would like to see in the future episodes of this series.
All right, so we just finished up the hour, and I'm going to go ahead and list all of these cards, get them sold, and then I'll report back with how much we made in that hour. Hang tight. One eternity later. All right, so we made 63K in the hour. That's honestly really good. That's actually better than I expected because I only flipped the tops now players, but we got locked in, and we really got those prices down. You can absolutely do the exact same thing. This wasn't because... I'm more experienced than you or better than you in any sort of way. You can definitely, if you stick to it and you learn the prices, you could definitely replicate what I just did here in just about any market. So as promised, we're going to go ahead and open 40, the show packs. Again, not advisable at all. Keep your profits. Go get players. Go get starters. Don't blow them on packs. But for the sake of this video, for you, we're going to go ahead and do it. Hopefully we get some lucky pulls. All right, guys. So we went ahead and bought 40 the show packs. And we even had six left over from before. So you guys get a few bonuses in here. We're down to 328K, with, which is roughly what we started with to begin with. So we didn't make anything really. Well, if we do well in these packs, I guess we'll be a little bit profitable. But basically gave our profits back to Sony. Let's see if we get rewarded for it as we start off with a nice bronze pack you know to be honest i'm terrible at narrating these pack openings <laughs> i i know youtubers that literally can just milk milk these for what they're worth i'm just having fun i'm hopefully uh going to pull something decent out of one of these things so we get off to a very quick bronze start at least i learned how to open them where you just go to the end you check that card and you basically exit out but the one thing that I will say about packs in this game that's kind of neat is that they do go into collections. So even if you don't get a card that's super valuable, you're still building cards so you can finish off collections. So in other words, pack trash, as, as we like to call it in Madden, has value in this game. So that's super good as we do get a diamond. So Ford Field, I don't... Uh, well, it's worth at least more than the pack is worth. So that's pretty cool. Pretty good pack here. Ooh, Chad Green. Nice pitcher there. He's up to an 85 overall. Pretty solid there. So we get a couple of silvers. Again, it's not a big deal. You know, I spent an hour to get these packs. And honestly, you get enough stuff out of them that you're not going to completely go bankrupt. These packs are only 1,500 stubs which honestly is not a terrible deal when you consider what you can get out of these. So safe route, conservative in me says don't buy them. But if you do, honestly, you could do a lot worse in other uh, ultimate team games because the show at least does have low, low card, low overall value. We've pulled a few silvers too. I think our best pull so far is a gold. Uh, the stadium isn't worth that much. I don't really count that. That was technically a diamond. As we're flying through these packs, love it. 20 more to go. No sight of a diamond to be seen as we do get a gold here. At least break even on that one. Actually, anytime you get a gold, you're probably profitable, to be honest, because of the other stuff in the pack. But... We want to do a bit better than break even. Oof, this has been rough, I'll be honest. Bronze, bronze, bronze. Just cannot get anything to go right now. That's a gold jersey. Only 11 more to go. Can we heat up? 10 more to go. Come on. Oh, man, they're just, they're just taking my... They know that I... Okay, well, Korea is pretty decent, 86 overall. <laughs> they know that I just worked the market to make these stubs, so they're like, yeah, you're not going to get anything good. Don't even hold your breath. We're down to six to go. More bronze. Mmm. Not good, not good, not good. Three to go. I'm opening these way too fast. It, it just knows. All right, guys. For our bonus content in today's flip-a-thon, we're going to go ahead and go over nine players that I feel have a good chance of going 
diamond tomorrow let's check them out on the marketplace see what they're going for and see if we can make you guys some extra stubs off of your investments all right, the first stop on our list is Xander Bogarts having a really nice season for the best Boston Red Sox. He's already going for a pretty penny, but he is a shortstop that has a little bit of power, good contact hitter, moderately decent speed, but I do think he's going to go diamond. Not a bad investment to make a few K there. Next stop is the starting pitcher, Otani. Awesome year that he's having with the Angels. He'd be a good player. The, the thing that's unique about him is he can hit, so he's super useful in MLB The Show just because you don't have to worry about taking him out to hit. But I would consider picking one or two of him up because I think he has a really good chance of going diamond in this next series update. Jose Abreu is another guy that's having a great year for the White Sox. He plays first base. Very good power. I think this card... Could definitely be a sleeper to going diamond. He's already at an 85 overall, but he's having a great year. So I think he definitely has a sh chance. I would pick up a couple Jose Abreu's. One of everybody's favorite MLB The Show player, Stanton, has a ton of power. He's having a good year with the Yankees. He's back from injury. Definitely a card worth picking up a couple because he is just so dominant with that great power Basically, whatever player is looking for in Diamond Dynasty, I would highly recommend picking a few of these guys up because his price will jump as this card gets better. All right, as a Brewer fan, you know I need to plug a couple of guys. We're going to start off with Corbin Burns. He just set the MLB record for most strikeouts before a recorded walk to start the season. Unfortunately, he did give up a walk later in the game against the Cardinals. But I think he's definitely going to go diamond here in the next upgrade. I recommend picking a couple of his up. Also, he has that monthly reward program card that is very good. So his card is definitely glitchy and worth picking up. Sticking with the homer pick, Brandon Woodruff has also had a very good season for all my Brew Crew fans out there. I see you guys, and I definitely think that this guy is going to go diamond tomorrow in the update. So I highly recommend picking up a couple Brandon Woodruffs. Josh Donaldson for the Twins has been absolutely on fire. I can say, being that I live in Minnesota, that they, they're very excited about him. The Twins themselves are not having a great season, but he's been a bright spot for them. He is red hot with the bat after being injured the early part of the year. I think he has a good chance to go diamond. Another one of those classic good cards that has good power. And honestly, once he gets some better stats, you're going to see him on a lot of lineups. I highly recommend getting him while he's cheap. Definitely a good investment opportunity here. Jared Walsh is a dark horse. He's been having a nice year with the Angels. He's currently only a 79 overall, but I definitely think he's got an outside chance of going diamond at his price point. He's one of those guys where if you could just stack like 10 of them and he goes and he gets a major upgrade, he could be worth a lot. I think the return on investment, the ROI for him is definitely there. It's worth picking up a few of them because like I said, he is a sleeper to get a good upgrade. He's at least going to go gold, so you're not going to lose any stubs on that. He's got a chance to go diamond though. Uh, definitely a sleeper pick here. And we have one more card before uh, talking about a couple last things here, so stay tuned. Lance Lynn has turned it around after they knocked him down to an 81 overall for the White Sox. I think this guy actually has a chance. I know it seems weird for a guy being downgraded. He has a chance to go diamond, so I'd recommend picking a few of him up after he kind of got back on track here. So those are my nine investments for you guys. We're going to keep track of how we do on these. I have all nine of them written down. We'll see on... We're going to keep track on how many we hit on. Basically, I'd love to at least get 80% correct because i think that gives you a good track record for going to the future but investments is definitely a great way to make stubs so i i highly encourage you guys to invest in a few of these cards on this list and if you want me to first develop a track record well and then go ahead and wait for the next series but those are nine names we'll see how many we hit on and then we'll report back and again these flipathons will have this bonus type of material besides me just making stubs so i hope you guys enjoy it go ahead and give it the thumbs up if you did uh the rest of the video is just me opening up a few different pack types that i had stored up you by no means have to watch the rest of it but if you're interested in some more polls uh stay tuned for that otherwise i will see you guys in the next episode i hope you guys have a great night thank you so much for watching and support i really do appreciate it
Um, gold something or other. Let's just see. Altuve, another Astro. Um, Savino, I know this is just other stuff. We'll just we'll just open everything I have here. Why not keep going for it? Stadium pack. Um, we can go target field. Let's see what this is. Jock strap. <laughs> Supporter. <laughs> I feel like you have to get that. Here, we'll do, we'll do that. There you go. All right, let's just pick some new ones. 18 of these? Wow. Get the glasses. A couple new ones. Feel free. I mean, obviously, you guys don't need to stick around for all of this. I'm just having fun opening up some stuff here. I got so many packs. Why not, right? I don't know if I'm going to open all those. Let's go. Twins. Twins. Jackpot. <laughs> uh, I love it. Um, I'll go White Sox. Chicago. Whatever. Okay, so we got some guys here. I don't think you can sell them. This guy's a power hitter. He's, this guy's pretty well rounded. I would like to get like an 83, right? Um, let's go with Shane Green. We already have him. Let's get some power off the bench. Jim Tome. Yeah, I like him. Some jerseys. Let's get the twins. And let's get the Tigers. Uh, let's see. Basically, they all sell for the same price here. Great stamina. It's a pretty decent power hitter. This guy has great contact. Who is this? Young. I don't know. Let's just pick him. No big deal. <laughs> I don't know who's using these things, but that's cool. Um, get you this time, get you perks, we don't care, let's go gold equipment, that sleeve's worth something good, four thousand, well that, this thing's awesome, love it, uh, gold perk, ooh, perks have fallen way down, huh, just pick one, all right, some equipment packs. Pull these guys. Baseball wave, sure. <laughs> Nothing glitchy, that's for sure. We already have all of these. All right. All right, we're done with this segment. Nothing out of our pulls. A little bit of a bummer, honestly, but uh, we'll... Uh, We'll touch base with the last part of information I want to give you guys uh, before we go.